Yo, what up guys, it's Game Challenge, and I know I'm on MK's channel for this, but it was his idea and I thought it was suitable to do a little tutorial on getting the real smart motion blur behind the HUD when editing, editing the halos. Sorry, right now we can just start off with blank composition. I'm going to use some of the default stuff I already have set up, you just need the no HUD and the HUD clips and you're just fine once you've got that um, let's go with the no-scope trial, that's pretty, st that's more standard uh, um, abandon okay so now that I got these I'm gonna make a new composition and I'm gonna you gotta line these up so that they're on the same frames so just to make sure it's all in sync that's just honestly all that needs to happen so there you go got our got our clips in sync now the HUD goes up and down with very little changing because you know there's just some random elements that happen here and here but that's fine Ah. so now we've got that which is great now because you can do cut effects and all that good stuff but that's not really all that useful um, we're going to talk about that later you just you need to duplicate your no HUD layer and just get out of the way for a second but the important thing is getting this abandon like getting the um, HUD layer and setting it to luma inverted matte now what this just did is that when you remove it made it took all the data from this from from the uh, no HUD version and subtracted it from the HUD version so now you see all these checkerboards that's the alpha channel I think it'd be better if I just showed you it was like this if I was to say put some really some, let some some really obvious color correction on this right like just really high contrast, really, really weird. Like I don't even know how this is anything anymore. Um, like I don't, some, let's do something blatant that you cannot ignore. Threshold. I'm I'm doing threshold right. That's supposed to be black and white. Well, it is for the most part, but what it does is it blends these two layers so that. I turned that up way too high. There we are. There we go. You can get stuff like this, where you have it behind the HUD. See how it's the difference with the threshold on and off with the HUD is literally nothing. It does not affect the HUD at all, which is really good for doing stuff like this with real smart motion blur. So you just use RSMB, set your values. Let's use something pretty clear. Let's just, I just want to make it clear as day what's going on here though. Let's do some really, really stupidly high motion blur. Normally when you have real smart motion blur, it's going on a HUD clip, it's just going to also show the really ugly movement of where the sniper is going and everything, so that's gonna or where the scope is, so it's gonna really be ugly and you want to prevent that so this is how you do that because without without uh, this let me just show you what it would look like without any of that so we've got that on top now do I have anything on that? no here's how that real smart motion blur would look okay with HUD here's how that would look with HUD but it's not like that. It only it's affecting it in the same way over there. But it's not dealing with the HUD. It doesn't f fuck up how the HUD doesn't move and how everything else does. Well, for the most part, but yeah. So that's really how you just deal with 
if you want to do effects behind the HUD and have some fun with that, yeah, here's how you would. That's pretty much the simplest way I can think to do it. There's like difference mats, and those are really, really um. There are a lot of trouble, and this is just really quick and easy. And and they aren't even guaranteed to get you a good result, like because Halo Four's got is so complex with all its colors. There's a lot of um leftover pixels that shouldn't even be here. Like it's way too high of an alpha channel. Like there's there's not nearly enough there's not nearly enough alpha here. There, it needs more checkerboard, but whatever. It's it's good enough so that you can you remain with these HUDs. So that's it's nice and light. So you can get these the, the nice motion blur up here on the top, like right there. Just adds a little bit to the video, makes it feel more real and cinematic. So, yeah, that's how you do the pretty simple uh, real smart motion blur behind the HUD or any effect behind the HUD. And that's pretty much it. You just, you line up your two clips. You make a duplicate of your no HUD on the very top so that when you use the Luma in inverted mat on the HUD version, it takes the data from that and subtracts it to, leaving you with just the HUD's data. And then you have the no HUD back on the bottom, which you can then play with and do all sorts of fun things. See, that should be really fucking up the HUD, but it's not. Literally no effect on the HUD. So it, this is GC signing off, and yeah. And I did with the Sun MK's channel just because it is his idea, and yeah, I think it, I think he deserves all credit for it. Peace.